Don't be scared when the way paralyzes your state at the gate. And as you can tell, we're back with the solo video as promised. And some of y'all are gonna hate me for this, but it isn't completely solo. Because my friend Tone and my friend Ren, they both end up hopping on. But they also play solo, we build somewhat close to each other, and we add each other to team, which prevents people from offlining us. Because playing solo normally, just completely by yourself, is honestly just way too boring having no one to talk to. So we all play solo, we have our separate adventures, except we protect each other from offlines and we talk to each other while we're playing. And there has been people in the past who complain about it saying it's not real solo. If it makes the video unwatchable, just don't watch it. All of the fights, all of the rig runs, stuff like that, it is all solo. And we do not help each other with fights unless it is absolutely necessary. And also another very rare occurrence with me, I didn't build near launch site. Instead, I built next to train yard and bandit camp so I would have a safe zone to recycle at. Not only that, I was also close to small oil rig which was top left. And this area was very populated which made it very hard to get a base down. Not only that, the people that lived in this area played very scummy. And one of those people was this guy who killed me for my very first farm run. And I never ended up getting revenge on this guy for what he did, but he TC griefed me with an alarm like a weirdo. And the only reason he did this is because he knew he couldn't offline me. But that guy, he was not my only enemy, and somehow as a solo, I became the most hated person on the server in the only two days I played. Which led to me being raided five different times. And obviously I can't spoil it for y'all, so you'll have to watch to see if I defended all of them. Getting the base up was definitely not smooth. Pretty much everywhere I went, there was other people there preventing me from farming for a base. That was until I spawned at the bottom of the map and I started heading towards a mountain in the bottom right corner. Where I was hoping to find a lot of nodes and less people. Okay, okay. And after getting a hefty amount of nodes, I decided to go to Dome and look for a crude barrel. And after that, I would be able to get on a boat and safely make my way back to my base spot. I watched the first season back in the days, but then I started watching. That show gonna be stupid fire. Like, everybody that tell me about it is like, yeah, after the second season, shit goes crazy. On that time period, like, if you watch... Oh yeah, imagine okay. that, yeah. Right, let's craft a bow and then pull one from a toolbox three seconds later. That's my favorite. Pickaxe and farm that way. I don't think I'm gonna build here. I'm oh my god, I hear bandit. AKs. Push the damn boat out quicker. Go! Alright, hold on. And to make it even better, I was able to farm comps along the way on the ocean, which would give me even more low grade along with components to recycle for metal frags.
What was his inventory looking like? Like a row and a half. Not a free chainsaw though. Yep. I hope he actually raids me. I killed him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna get roof camped, but. Bro, he head shot me and body shot me. <laughs> that shit insta killed me. He was door camping me with MP5. That was a custom. No, he just killed he just killed the MP5 guy door camping. Shit. I'm not good with star on console. Killed him. I have six bullets. That naked corner loot. Nah, I've lost the play. I killed him. It's real unfortunate, isn't it? So if you couldn't tell what happened after killing the SAR guy with a bow, he came back with an MP5 to door camp. And fortunately, some custom guy ran by and he killed the door camper. And then I managed to kill the custom guy for the MP5 and the custom. Let me go ahead and throw on another I have nothing door just to be safe. With a spear. Have lockers back, please. And after that, I heard some rockets on the other side of train yard, and I decided to take an MP5 with one mag. And I could see a duo running back to the base, which meant I had to kill both of them with the 30 bullets. Oh my god.
and right before I could leave, they had already both made it back with two full kits. Tone, you should get over here. We're nuts. No way. No, there's another left. Yeah. Should have brought more meds, bitch boy. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, we might have to change the I have nothing doors pretty soon. I have nothing to... I got sheet metal doors because y'all might try to rain me. And after that I headed back to see what kind of scraps they left. Sadly they had broken the box and got the TC loot, but they left a good amount of stuff on the ground. That's that base I seen earlier with the... Yeah. And after seeing the workbenches and the garage doors just sitting inside of this decaying base, I decided to die to the code lock and text the base owner to see if I could get codes. Because then I could get whatever was left in the base along with TC. Meaning I could take the workbenches. And I honestly didn't expect it to work, but shout out to this guy Neil because he came through with the code. Oh my god, it's right! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, I gotta text him back. Oh my god. Oh my god. The boxes up here. The two boxes in the base no one accessed had hella guns in them. Well, not hella, but like four guns. And after filling my inventory with the leftover spoils from this decaying base, I was ready to head back to my own. And to do that, I had to run through Train Yard, and that's where I ran into another player. And of course, I could have avoided fighting this guy, but my aggression got the best of me. Can't lie, the cutoff is absolutely hilarious. But yeah, there was a third one and he had killed me. I tried to rush back into my base and grab an AK kit to go see what I could do. Fuck you.
And to make it even better, while I was depoing the loot, I heard someone run past my base. And to make it even better, this guy was one of Tone's enemies because this guy was following people out of the safe zone at Bandit trying to kill them. And that's actually how Tone managed to get his first gun. And right after that, Rin finally hopped on, which is a rare occurrence because Rin hates playing solo, mainly because he sucks. I do have something. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright. Tone, bro, you should have fucking been here. I had the, I had a fucking crazy come up just now. What you talking about? Nah, <laughs> it was all or nothing, bro. The guy that followed. And after having a pretty crazy come up, I realized that it was time to upgrade base. And our area was way too populated for us to be farming. So me and Tone decided to go to the mountain by dome so we could get a lot of farm without any competition. Other than this mountain goat, of course. I don't even fucking think of pulling out that damn concealed carry. What the fuck is that? Jumping around. And after me and Tone had finally gotten inventory each to upgrade our bases, we went ahead and boated back. And I can't lie, we both used this mountain to farm for our entire base. Brand new boat right here. The rock and roll. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm finally building something other than a 1x3. Because someone was in my comments saying that my videos were boring because I used the same base every time. And I couldn't finish this base this wipe, but in my most recent wipe, which will be the video after this one, I finished my favorite variant of a 2x2 so far, which had a crazy trap turret set up and a very nice shooting floor. So, I better have enough to craft a bear rug. Yes, sir! Damn, I can craft a couple! Trying to cut down all the trees in between my base and yours so we can see each other. I got an empty box for wood too. And after finally expanding the base, adding a second floor and some honeycomb, along with going to the mountain and farming even more nodes. And finally, once I was happy with my base's strength, I started running monuments to get the BPs that I needed. And after getting a red card from Train Yard, I decided it was time to take Oil Rig. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> Crazy. Are you AKA a There's house in there. <laughs> Do you know anyone that snuck into the US? I'm being completely serious. What? Like okay. they have the border, or like yes. what you? Or I mean, illegally immigrated. Uh, Why would she say that on the PlayStation, bro? That's kind of crazy. So, uh, yeah, my my <laughs> auntie oh. got them snuck in. <laughs> like she went over Yo, here right the, now. You wear ice right now? So I can oh, you wear ice? <laughs> no, but no. I'm getting the setup ready so I can have a monitor, use it until I get my PS5. Oh yeah, until you get your PS5, of course. No, I mean my PC. And after a successful rig run, I decided that I was going to start doing some roaming. And that was with one goal in mind, to go out in the server and make some enemies. Hey Tone, you got inventory space? Holy fuck, you got inventory space. Hell no, I just ran lunch. I got four slides.
Dude, he's got an inventory of meds. And after realizing just how loaded this duo was, I decided to offer Rin a couple extra guns if he helped me carry the loot. His body right here. Trust me, you'll have enough meds to get rid of the rats. Next body's by the stump right here. I don't care about anything, just grab the meds. Right. Just depot bottom left or wherever, just depot. And then of course I went out and decided to roam again. It's his fucking base. How is he alive? He's a guy looking at you. After almost dying to a guy with a silence gun, I decided just to get out of there so I didn't lose my kit. And after getting back to base, I decided to make some expo with my sulfur and raid something small hoping for profit. And I was mainly hoping for scrap so I could get more stuff on the tech tree. This shit was looking wild as hell in here though, for real. Fuck oh, bro, this got a door frame. Fuck it, I'm gonna raid it. What the fuck is that, bro? Got a little bit of comps. A mixing table and a blue card. 359 scrap. A laptop. Honestly, this is better than I thought. 800 cloth. And after a nice little raid, I went back to running monuments for scrap. You know we're gonna actually time me out for a week. M9's getting, getting raided. Oh my god, there's a lot of them in there. So yeah, meet honestly vibin'. He's probably not the best at the game, but boy does he love offline raids. And he likes doing them with three or more people. Two of them. I'm one HP. Uh, dude came out.
get behind the TC. Another one. Can you watch my back? Yeah. Loaded. Another one. I killed so fucking many, I don't even know where the bodies are. That's a full road sign. He looted this body. I'm out, bro. Hit him three times and head shot him. Body shot him. AK on me. White full kit. I'm dead. Killed him. There's so damn many of them. Sadly, there was way too many people at this offline raid for me to make a profit out of it. And the only loot that I did get out and stash wasn't even that good. But I could not resist going back. He is pulling up on me. Requesting me. Hit him twice. I headshot him with a fucking water pipe. It's honestly vibing. How did he not die with that shit? It's running. Tommy. Maddie boy, Tommy and Mads. After that, I baited them back to the base they were offlining, and I pretended to be AFK inside. Because these guys were deep, and they had gear fear, he didn't come with an actual gun. And I waited in the base until the other guy, who actually had a gun, came in. Moron. And then once again, I got back on my scrap grind, but it was interrupted by someone explorating. You AK? One of us might be getting raided. What the fuck is that? I'm spraying. Can go ahead and do something about it. I can't. Full heavy play outside, I just killed him.
I killed them all. <laughs> I threw a grenade down in here and it killed them. <laughs> They had a guy watching for counters, full heavy plate spaz with nades. Using that one was kind of big, yeah, don't you think? Uh, your teammate had them, dumbass. So that's your own fault. Offlining a two by one three them? deep is also kind of gay, don't you think? We're just doing raids, just for fun, yeah. is not going to untake your loot, buddy. Damn, he just got slammed. Me, personally, I would never, ever allow that to happen to me. That's just me, though. Like, to be honest. Can you grab this camp for me? Grab this kit for me, real quick. No, don't run with it. Follow. Jeez. Uh. So obviously these guys were not happy after I took their 2x1 raid, trash talked them in game chat, and then slammed them. Yeah, they, they were definitely not happy. And they stayed on to prepare to raid me. What's up? They were giving callouts to their teammate and that's why I left them alive. He came back full metal AK and I shit on him. And after depoting their loot, I ran train yard and then I went to go run sewer and that's when I realized someone had taken Bradley. And for the first time this wipe, I was going to go try and counter Brad. Holy shit!
Dude. Oh, you need help? Why the fuck is this guy so loaded? Make him all the way over there. Can, but like, do I really want to? I'm just tripling people left and right. What the fuck? I just heard two rockets go off. Come on, might be getting raided. Should I come over or... Go back. That sounds like near towards our bases, yeah. Yeah, yeah, double rocketing. I'm not... It, it's your base. It's your base. Kill and respawn. Stop, I think they got in. Or you can come back and kill them from the outside. They saw me. I'm dead. There's... Easy defend, pussy. Yeah. One There's more outside. outside. There's outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm behind the mixing table. Fuck, I'm dead. I lost my piece. M2. I got killed by not Sentrix, it's the dude outside. Do you know them? Yes, I know these guys. They were the trio raiding a 2 by one After resealing and sorting all of the loot from Brad and the raid defense, I took a little break and I came back to Brad taken again. That shit is. And this was Q8, the same guys that offlined M9. And I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty sure they had a guy outside of launch trying to catch me and kill me before I countered. Which I somehow managed to sneak past that guy and the guy on triple silo. And when I spawned back at base, someone was door camping Ren, so I had to go kill that guy. He doesn't even have an inventory of stuff, he has a pump and M9 and a Tommy. And then Ren had told me that someone might be taking oil rigs, so I went to go check. And after checking the cameras, I realized that the guy on oil rig had died to heavies. And the best part was, the guy who failed oil rig was the same guy that had been door camping Ren. It's Mosif. Dead on rig. Oh, 
unlooted crate with a rocket in it. And after getting back from oil, I decided to take a break and go watch Netflix. That did not last long though, Ren ended up calling me, and turns out someone was trying to offline me. So I frantically logged back in to try and defend it. Amazing. Garbage can. He done broke my fucking ladder hatch. Walks out with a GL. Nice one. Now I'm gonna raid the raid base too. Real smart move, man. Row of rockets. Over there at the base. <laughs> And to make it even better, I smacked this guy so hard he thought there was two of me. Which, I guess, saying that I was a fake solo was a valid argument to raiding me at 4.30 in the morning. And after defending that raid, I was actually ready to go to bed. And I did not get to sleep long before someone else tried to raid me. So I got woke up out of dead sleep and went straight to raid defense. <laughs> Downing or where from? Front door. Parents are gonna fuck me up. Sorry, ceiling. How did they raid from? It's, it's a vibe and I got him. 5C4. Looting my shit. I wasn't looting you. I said there's a body right there. Bro, you were there's looking at the fucking body, bro. Yeah, Don't I was do crouching that down at it, showing you. I wasn't looting it. I know you where the body's the body. at. I just fucking killed him. <laughs> and to give some context, these guys were not raiding me for no reason. I had somehow lost the footage. I don't remember how, but they tried to raid me while I was off a first time. Except they texted me and told me to get on, and when I got on, they rocket PvP'd me. And then I GL PvP'd them back, and I won the raid. So it doesn't really matter that I lost that footage, I GL'd them anyway. And this was them trying to offline because I told them I was going to sleep, which I was. And once again, Ren called me, and I was being raided. It's like these people don't want me to have a decent night's sleep. And this was King Ethan's group and Atwood, they were coming back for round three. Losing three raids in one night is kinda wild. 
You just fucked on those kids. Holy shit. That's what happens, I guess. Yeah, you guys, you guys just got fucked on. Holy shit, this guy's a solo and he just, he just fucked on you. And finally, after getting the sleep I needed, I hopped on the next day with Ren. And I was ready to quit the server, and I did not want to leave this boom for some offliners to get their hands on. So I took it into my own hands to foundation wipe these guys who had been door camping me and Ren. Not only that, they also roof camped. And of course, the biggest reason their base was just ugly, and I wanted to raid it. Why don't we rocket through wall? here? Go through here. Shoot into that window. Go. Keep sending rockets to the window. Shit is calm. Keep going. I just killed him, I think, or his teammate. Oh, I'm dead. There's a shotgun I rocked trap down there. Uh, I see a single, single door. Wait, I'm about to kill him. Uh, yeah, it did. He's in his core right here. Right here is his core. Or here. I don't fucking know where his core is at. I'm sending I'm rockets off. in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this tier one in this garage door. Yeah, I know. One more, you go ahead. I'm just gonna keep hitting it. The top right of that tunnel. Splash as much as possible. Nah, nah, hit the foundation, oh, support oh, foundation oh, no bad, no bad. I hear a grenade, I hear a grenade, careful. I just, I just blow him up, I think. Hold on. Keep hitting that metal foundation. Crumbling down. Where at? Oh there goes so half fun. of the fucking base. <laughs> I was worried about the front door being open. The whole base is fucking open now. Look at those bags just on the fucking in the middle of the air. Grenades. Them. I headshot the other guy. Beamed. It's the same group again. 72 bullets? I got a- With a revolver? That's crazy! I'm despawning that. Holy, the meat! I shot instant rockets in my core. Do you 
not realize that your actions have consequences. I do. still there. Wow! I placed them right beside each other. I'm just that oh my precise. Oh my god, guys. I'm being waited. I'm being waited. I'm defending the way. I'm defending. Oh! I'm gonna defend your grandma. so much man they've been working for me forever no problem buddy. i love I you gotcha. i got gotcha. you mm -hmm.